right back with another new video. I feel like I haven't like filmed in forever. I have decided to do a video that I haven't really done before because it's never really happened to me. It's kind of a tra transition um, video from year 12 to uni and I kind of want to like tell you my experience and give you some tips for year 12 and then some things that I kind of want to help with with uni and then some tips for uni and yeah so let's just get straight on with the video so first up, i'm going to start with year 12 and just some of my main um tips and some experience that i have and what i want to give to you guys so in year 12 it was definitely the hardest year um of school because it is the last year it's the most stressful year and it's the year that like everything counts so always start off like as soon as you get some homework do it straight away because it's like most likely that the next day you're just going to get more homework so you may as well just get on top of it straight away definitely have a diary if your school doesn't provide one then buy one so you can like write down everything that you need to do make sure that you have heaps of friends that you can like um connect with and like talk to and if you guys are having trouble you'll be able to go to them because my friends were played a big part in year 12 for me they every time i was like struggling with something like school or like I just didn't know what I was doing I always knew I could go to them and they helped me with everything so yeah make sure you have a really like strong bond with your friends another tip would definitely to have a good relationship with your teachers when you're in like the junior part of high school teachers are just kind of like the people you don't really want to talk to but in year 12 especially they are so important and um, they can help you with everything and it's really good to have a good relationship with them because if you have a good relationship with them and they'll help you and they'll see what you need help with and then they'll be able to give you some good knocks. So make the most of like the activities so when you're in year 12 usually you get to like dress up for things, you get to go to like um, the sports carnivals and athletic carnivals dressed up, you have like end of year activities like muck up days and celebration days and stuff, make the most of them because those are like the best days in year 12, make sure that you like hang out with your friends and just enjoy the time, like take photos and stuff because it's always good to reminisce on those memories. I make the most of year 12 as well, it was one of the hardest years of my life and at the time I was just hating it, like I was excited for it to be over, but now I'm missing my friends every day. I miss having a proper routine because in uni it's just so different. I'm going to go on to, to uni now. So, um, the uni jump was just, everything is so different. You have this O week or orientation week where you don't even really have to go, but you should go. That was weird. I only went one day, even though it was the whole week, because my course only had like one session where I could go to there were other things you could go and see and do but I'm not really interested in that kind of stuff yet anyway I kind of want to make friends first and then be able to go to those things with them also my uni is really far from where I live so it's hard for me to get there um, just for like like if there was something going on at school I could have easily just got the bus or like had my mum or dad drive me there but with uni being like an hour away depending on traffic it can be even longer or two hours by public transport it's just so hard to go there for activities so I'm finding that really difficult so far every person that I've kind of spoken to lives far away as well so none of us are really at the uni at the same time other than for our classes um, there are a couple of people that I've met doing the same course as me so we try and sit next to each other when we have the lecture for our subjects um but yeah it's really quite hard and i'm finding the workload is seems to be kind of more than year 12 which is really weird it's not necessarily harder like you don't have like heaps of um like for maths i used to have so much math stuff to do so much like i was writing english essays all the time and i was writing like answering all these questions with uni it's a bit different so I only have three subjects, so I do um, biochemistry and then I do like a subject for my course which is just like this animal and vet course. I get a lot of quizzes, I get a lot of pre-prac quizzes, pre-workshop quizzes and then post-prac quizzes, post-workshop quizzes, module stuff that I have to do online. If I miss a lecture I need to watch that online and then my chemistry has this other thing called L where you have to do it. An assignment every week but there's like between 20 and 30 questions and it's just crazy um 
so yeah it's very very different um, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it at the moment um, it's also annoying because it's so far away the main advice that I would give just from my third week would be to take your own food because food can get expensive and um, get on top of your assignments as soon as possible so I've been trying to do that because that's what I kind of heard. I've been doing all my tests and my assignments trying to do them as soon as I get them and not falling behind on my lectures. Like if I don't go to them then I make sure I watch them on that day so I'm up to date so when I go to the actual lecture at the uni I'm up to date. Also with um, uni make sure to have a plan as well at the start I didn't have one because I'd ordered it and I was like losing track of everything I was like oh my gosh I have this I have this I have this yeah um when I don't like plan stuff I get really stressed out because I feel like I'm forgetting stuff and then I feel like there's just too much to do so when I have like a diary or a planner I can plan out when I'm going to do the things and what things I have and when they're due so yeah that's really good with textbooks I'm really not sure what to do about that I haven't bought any yet and I don't know if I should or if I shouldn't I don't know when we're meant to be using them or if we're meant to use them at all or if it's just for our own like self teaching stuff I don't really know one other thing I would recommend doing is if you do type up your lecture notes to print them out I type my lecture notes up because it's just easier for me and I have really messy handwriting so it's good for me to type them up so when I get home I just fix the notes like, briefly I'm not like one of those people that goes through the whole lecture and then fixes up all my notes like I really can't do that don't really have the time to watch an hour lecture at home after watching it at the uni and then going through my notes again it doesn't really help me either so I just kind of briefly go through it, fix up any spelling or things that don't really make sense or things that I may have missed in the lecture um, and I just fix those up and then I print them out and I put them into a display folder so when I go to my workshops and we have to you know, go answer questions I have my notes there um, which I mean I could go onto my laptop and look at them as well but I just find it easier to having them all in my display book to just look through them um, and then at the end of the year when I have my exams I can just highlight stuff and like, go through it like that instead of printing out like 50 pieces of paper just because I haven't printed out any of my lecture notes yet so hopefully that's all gonna work so yeah that's pretty much all of my advice and my experience and everything like that I hope this video was helpful for some of you. So I don't really know where I'm going with this, but kind of like everyone tells you 12 is the best year of your life. And although it probably wasn't my best year, make it the best that it can be. Like just enjoy it. Have fun with your friends. Have fun with your family. Don't um, um don't not have fun with your family just so you can do the homework and stuff you've been given. Like put your family and friends um, and like happiness first before schoolwork even though that may seem really important but your family and your friends are really important you have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow um yeah so we're saying that just enjoy the life that you have this is getting really deep now um but yeah i just i don't know i feel like people put pressure on you to do really well and to always put schoolwork first but that's you should not be putting schoolwork first what you should be doing is putting God first. And with that being said, we're going to finish the video here. If you did enjoy it or you found this helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!